hi guys thanks for clicking on today's video in this diy i'll be showing you how to make an elegant wedding centerpiece it's good for a party or a wedding any occasion that you may have so let's get started for my wedding centerpiece i'll be using this orange cone it's the same cone that the dollar tree sells but they're currently out and it's the same price on amazon so i went ahead and i bought mine from amazon i'm just taking my scissors and i'm cutting off that outer rim and for the base of the centerpiece, I'm going to be using this candle holder from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to place this piece of paper in the candle holder and that will help the cone to stay upright while I finish working on it. And I'm just using hot glue to do that. And for my strong adhesive, I'm using E6000 and I'm just putting that right around the rim and that will hold my two pieces together. And I'm going to leave it to dry for about 24 hours before I start to do anything else. I place the book on top and make sure that it was straight while I leave it to dry. Instead of foam balls, I'll be using these bowls from Walmart and these are some nice sturdy bowls that Walmart has for 50 cents each. And I'm just going to be using my E6000 to hold them together along with my hot glue. And in the past, I've used um, the Dollar Tree bowls. There's four to a pack and I'll show you the difference further down in the video on the size. Next, I removed my label and I started to glue my roses in place. I'll leave a list of all the items I'm using in the description box below. And I'm just placing the two colors. I'm using royal blue and white. And I'm just placing them so the whites can look like they're in the center of the blue at all times. So just watch as I do this, alright? Thank you.
and our floral ball is now completed and this part will be left blank that's where the base will be sitting and I'll show you the difference between the bowls from the Dollar Tree and the one from Walmart there's a big difference and for my vase the larger floral ball complements it better so the base of my centerpieces are all dried um, this is a day after and I'm going to be spray painting them with my metallic gold spray paint and before you spray paint it just make sure you use some alcohol and clean the surface this is not a necessary step but it adds a little glam I'm going to be using these rhinestone chains you can't really see the crease only in some areas I wasn't thinking about it I would have done it neater if I was um, but you can use your E6000 and make it nice and neat so you don't have to add the chain and I'm just using my same E6000 and adding the rhinestones And that completes our elegant wedding centerpieces on a budget. I hope you like my DIY today. If you do, please leave me a thumbs up and please share it with someone that you think may be interested. All right. Thank you. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye bye.